Hello everyone, welcome back to our learning topics on hash table. In this video, we are going to learn a bit, a bit more detail on the hash functions with the hash collision problem. As we can see from the previous video lecture, we have seen that when we insert our data, in case that the hash function uh, find the position is the same to other number, our data will be overridden, right? For example, in this case, number 15 and are overridden by number 22 at the position uh, 1 because uh, our hash function is taking the, the, the modulo with the size of the array as we have discussed from the previous uh, video. In this video, we are going to solve this kind of problems this is called hash collision and we have some uh, resolution techniques to address this problem okay so now let's start uh, our uh, first when we have a situation when there are two or more of our data hash to be stored in the same location in the table which is in the array this is called hash collision because our data will be overridden right because uh, they are inserted into the same place as we know that they're using hash table, uh, we don't insert our data sequentially from the position, but it really depends on our hash function. The hash function will return the index of the array, and then our number will be inserted into that index position. For example, suppose we have a hash table with seven elements. This is an array of a number. We have seven elements so the position is start from 0 wall 0 and anti 6 this is position and our hash function definition is to modulo our number with 7 for example if we want to insert this number let's say 15 so 15 if we divide by 7 we will get the remainder is 1 right so 15 will be inserted into the position 1 this is 15 okay next we insert number 11 okay Number 11, if we divide by 7, we will obtain the remainder, which is 4. So it means that number 11 here will be inserted into position number 4, okay? Because has function, we got the position. And so on and so forth. Number 27 will be inserted to the position number 6. While number 8, if we uh, divide by 7, we will get the remainder is 1. So it means that it will be inserted into position 1. So in this case, if you put it directly, this will uh, overriding the number 15 of all data that are already existed in this slot. Okay, because we set data directly to array. So in this case, we can solve this problem, for example, by using linked list. When there is a new element inserted to this slot, we just add to end of the list, right? So if there are more number, you can just uh, uh, add it to uh, the end element of the list, right? So each slot of the array here will be a um, uh, linked list data structure, okay? So normally for a good function, uh, it should be easy to compute and minimize collision. We try to minimize as much as possible. There are many very types of uh, function that we can use. Early on, we use the popular one, which is uh, the model A, model O with the size of the array. And we have another type called perfect hashing. Perfect hashing, it means that uh, there is no collision, but it's very uh, rarely able to find it. Okay. okay, now we come over to the main part of this video. We we'll talk about the collision uh, resolution techniques. Mainly, there are two uh, main types. The first one we call open hashing or separate chaining. The second one is called closed hashing, which is open addressing. Okay? So in the uh, uh, open hashing, actually it is a kind of the uh, array implementation. While open addressing is kind of array-based implementation, there are more different types like linear probing, tetrahedral, or double hashing. And we will focus on this one using uh, language how we can solve this kind of collision problem. So let's start on the uh, open hashing here. In open hashing, we define that each slot in the hash table to be the head of the list. It means that every 
elements that we insert into the slot it actually the head of the list so when we define our data structure actually it is an array of linked lists okay we, before we have array of number right the array of number and we have seven uh, the size of the array seven we have seven slot okay so now we will try to uh, rearrange our data structure each slot will be in a linked list so we will create an array of linked list actually so in this case, all records that has two particular slots, which are collision cases, they are placed on the slot linked list. This means that uh, we're trying to insert the data into that one, will be insert to end of the list. And if there are more coming data insert to that place, we can still able to add, right? Because the X slot is a linked list. Okay? This is how uh, we're going to implement it using the uh, open hashing. Okay, now let uh, deeper detail on how we can do that in our C++ language. Firstly, we create an uh, data structure of linked list like we have element as we have already learned before. We have number and element next to connect to another uh, element. We have list, head and tail in the side of list. And this is representing the array of linked list before we have integer right integer array of integer but now we create a list which is an array right so we have for example we have a seven slot here Let's say you have an uh, horizontal slot here one two three four five six and seven right? actually x slot here is represent as a linked list it had have head and tail and so on and so forth this is how we're gonna make it and we can create a function as we have already learned in the lecture language. We can add an empty list to initialize uh, various variables. For example, we create an uh, L1 list here. We return a uh, location memory and we set the initialize empty list, which is N0, head nil, and tail nil. And finally, we return L1 back to our function. And this is uh, the additional function. For example, we can call this function to initialize the list. Because if we don't initialize the list, we don't know, right? Okay, the list has no head, has no tail, and the value of n. So we need to set it. Just like we see in the basic implementation of hash table, that we uh, initialize the array into certain numbers, right? So in this case, linked list, we must do that. And next, we can create a call for a function, let's say an app and add data to end of the list we have this it's just the way we implement the linked list actually we create a new element as we already learned before we create a new element and we set some numbers and some pointer as we know that we, we want to insert to end of the list the next pointer is connecting to nil okay. and following the rule of linked list in case that the uh, there is no number in the, the list here so we will try to update some uh, reference here, right? So this element E becoming the head, also becoming the tail, and we increment the size of this list by one. Okay. However, if there are at least one element in the list, okay, we can connect the tail of our list to this new element, and then we update this element now become the tail, right? So this is how we implement it using the list at the data to end of the list. Okay, next we can create the hash function like just like before that we return the size, which is the model law operation with the size, and then we can we can obtain the position that should be inserted into our array. So in case that we insert to array, so this is uh, uh, a bit different here. Before we call to the way how we insert into the array, right? For example, if we uh, create as h. It means that we will pass the index obtaining from the hash function and then we set some number into this operation right in order to set a number to array right array of the hash table okay we put this and then we equal to something but now it's not because uh, as we can see that this representing as an array array of lists. so it means that we are trying to uh, want to insert some number into this position Okay, as we know that x slot of the list, x slot of the our array here is actually a list. So it means that we if access to this point and then we put some number. So this is actually a list. Okay. We pass a list as we know that we want to uh, use that position, right? So we access to the list in at that position. 
because we have array of linked list so each point in the array is a list so we want to get a list and pass to this function okay. it's very simple and we try to display some data into the uh, hash table as we know that our hash table is a kind of array of linked list here so we gonna create a loop in order to access to each element in the array and this each element in the array here is representing as the uh, list right so this is the way we create uh, we access to the list if that uh, data in the list there are some number okay because it's not nil some number are set to the position so we can loop it right so in here there's kind of nested loop because in the that single slot it could be have many collision data right that are inserted as the link list uh, chaining okay. next we can uh, call to the main function and then we get gate our data something like this because uh, in case that our data collision for example number 8 15 and 22 based on fast function uh, the position is one right so by using the collision uh, resolution techniques using open addressing here we can insert that number no number are overwritten okay that's the way where we can apply that okay 